What's up guys, BND Gaming here and today we are doing something new. We are doing a Black 2 Tag Lock. So essentially a Tag Lock is like a Nuzlocke, but after each video I'm going to tag Drew in or he'll tag me in and then he has to start off from where one of us left off. Yes, so each individual video will be about 30 minutes long, so we'll get 30 minutes of play time and then we will tag each other in up until we beat this game. Yeah, so this we also randomized this game, so the encounters will be random, and so will the Pokemon of the trainers. Yes, it will. It should be very fun. All right, Ben. Good luck. All right, let's get it. First, first tag in. Here we go. Okay, new game. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Ooh. That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complete, we complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and it, de it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Okay, so we will be picking the boy because we are both boys. And, uh, of course, our name will be B. Uh, okay, we can't fit the and in, so we'll just go with BD. Your name is BD? Yes. What a wonderful name. Why, thank you. Could you tell me a little bit about your friend, the older boy who lives nearby? Would you mind telling me his name? Hmm. So... Let's make it Browse. As you know, Browse is the, uh... He is the third member of the BND gaming community. So... That should be a good name for him. Browse, did I see, did I get that right? Yes, yes you did. BD, I'm going to entrust you with Pokemon. I'm sure you will be a great partner. The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of views. I really hope you learn what's important to you as a result of your travels. That's right. Befriend new people and become and grow as a person. That's the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Oh, here we go, guys. The start of our journey. It's winter. Even though it's like basically springish, summerish now, so. Game Freak presents. Yes, I'm so excited for this. Finally, some Pokemon content on the channel. Oh, the little old snowflakes black 2 version completely randomized I cannot wait to find out what our starters are <laughs> oh I'm just filled with so much excitement right now uh oh this game just looks so beautiful so in the comments down below let me know uh what your favorite generation of Pokemon is. I'd really like to know. Personally, mine is two, but this generation's great too. Oh, and I love the soundtrack to all the Pokemon games. Oh, hi. Why, Red Juniper? It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, a Pokedex for my child? 
Why, that's great. I think the journey would be a wonderful experience. So that's our mom, obviously. What now? She's already here? Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you've decided on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca. Right? A big green hat. Got it. Okay, no worries. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Time to go on our Pokemon journey. There we are. Coming, Mom. Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she's called me today for the first time in ages. This is out of the blue, but BD, do you want to have a Pokemon? Why, of course. Okay, step one completed. Well then, do you know what a Pokedex is? Yes. I knew you would. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records Pokemon you encounter? Yet another question. You want a Pokedex, right? Yes, of course. Okay, step two completed. BD, your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca has come here to meet you. She's Professor Juniper's assistant. I was told to simply look for a big green hat. That's right, you're gonna look for Bianca. And then you'll get a Pokedex and a Pokemon to be your partner. Oh, your X transceiver in your bag, right? Do you know what, how to open your bag? Yes, I do. The girl's name is Bianca. I was told you should look for a big green hat. She might be lost because this is her first time here. Go look for her. All right, we're on our journey to look for Bianca. I cannot wait to see our starters. Hi, BD. Browse. Hey, you get a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here and I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? BD, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go get our Pokemon. And to do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner, Pokemon. A person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. You head home. Okay, big brother. Bye, BD. Alright, let's go find that person named Bianca. Let's go! Okay, so now we have Browse with us and we're on our way to find Bianca. I can't wait for the running shoes. I hate having to walk in Pokemon games. There's the Pokemon Center. And right up these steps is the woman with the big green hat, Bianca. Here we go. Oh, I get it. The Outlook is Aspiternia's most famous spot. I'll bet Bianca is up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. It's so pretty! Hey there, do you agree? Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of Popo Pokemon Professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named BD? Why, that's me, honey. Oh, wait, you're BD. Wow, you're exactly like what I heard. Tall, long, and handsome. Nice to meet you. I have really important requests to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filling up the Pokedex is totally fun. Oh, give me my starters already. Come on. Okay, then. Ta-da! And here is the Pokemon that will be your partner. So now remember, in a tag lock, it does not start until we get Pokeballs. And if a Pokemon does faint, you do lose it. So... That's a very important thing to remember. So we have Clefable, Buizel, and Escavalier. Um, oh, this is a hard choice because they're all not that great. But 
I think I'm gonna have to go with Boizel. Yes. And now we will be nicknaming all our Pokemon, so in the comments below, leave name suggestions for Pokemon that you want to see nicknamed. Oh wow, you and Boizel are a perfect match. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to your Pokemon? Yep. So we will name him... Larry. I don't know why, but he... Oh, it's a she. Okay, well, we'll name her Lisa. And Lisa it is. Lisa the Buizel. Lisa, is that the nickname you want? That is such a great name. Now you've got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too. A Pokedex. Want to know what it does? The Pokédex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So Professor Juniper wants to carry the Pokédex and visit a lot of places and meet all the Pokémon in the Unova region. Bye-bye. Hey, how long are you planning to keep me waiting anyway? Hey, what's that? So that's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokémon. Got it? What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokédex! Please give me a Pokédex too. I want to get stronger. Mm. If I have a Pokédex, I can learn more about Pokémon. That'll make me tougher, right? Um, who are you again? I'm Browse! I'm going to travel the Unova region with my Pokemon partner in order to search for something very important. Well, okay. I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happen to have another Pokedex on me. What a coink -a dink It looks like Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years ago. So the more the merrier. Bye-bye. Let's see how good a trainer you are. Dude, I just got my Pokemon. I'll use my Pokemon that I raised from an egg. Well, I just got mine, so it'll be really embarrassing if you lose. <laughs> oh, our first battle. Browse sends out a coughing. Interesting. Let's see what moves our Buizel starts with. Sonic Boom and Growl. Alright, Sonic Boom. Yeah, one shot. Let's go. Let's go. 103 experience. Yeah, Lisa grows to level 6. Uh, I lost. This is different than battling with wild Pokemon. Well, whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool. I'm heading off first. Get stronger. Well, I just beat you, so do I really need to get that much stronger? That Pokemon on both sides did their best. But this little one is still weak, so battle with it and make it stronger. I just won, so call him weak. All right, right. Oh, whoops. All right, right. Let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon who battle and get hurt. Mine didn't get hurt. Lisa's the best, so whatever. The Pokemon Center is the same no matter what you where you are. Let's go inside. Uh, I wish we could just skip this part. Okay, I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center heals Pokemon for free. You should bring your Pokemon here anytime they are weak. I'll hear your Pokemon. Hand me your Pokeballs for a sec. Oh, gotta love that music. Next, I'll explain the PC. 
The square thing is a PC. Any trainer is free to use it. You can deposit Pokemon in it. Also, you can withdraw Pokemon from it. Next thing is over here. This is the Pokemart. Here you can buy and sell many different items. The Pokeballs you use to catch Pokemon can also be bought at the Pokemart. Here, BD, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Okay, so the tag lock has officially started. If you lose a Pokemon, you're, you know, you have to put it in the box, it's dead. And then if you run in, the very first Pokemon you run into on a route is the Pokemon you have to catch for that route. And if you do not catch it, that route is done. You cannot try to catch any more. Next up, I'll show you how to use those Pokeballs. Follow me. Okay, I cannot wait to see what our route encounter is. <laughs> oh, hey, Mom. Oh, nice to meet you. You must be Bianca, right? And B picked up Oshawa, then. Well... Weasel, but hee hee, looking good. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take these. They're running shoes. Finally. Ah, perfect fit. I'll read the instructions to you. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Put on running shoes and race around to your heart's content. Um, this is from me. Ah, uh, the town map from Browse's sister. <laughs> Why are there two town maps? I want you to give the other one to my big brother. That's a good idea. Even if it's a single road to the ocean, having a town map is always nice. I mean, if you use a town map, you'll know about what the Unova region looks like. Ah, oh, you guys just watching this makes me happy. Come on, we're headed to round 19. I'll teach you how to catch Pokemon. See ya. Bon voyage. Take Oshawa and go see many different Pokemon and people with your own eyes. Look how fast I am. Look, 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 look. Alright, to route 19 we go to catch our first Pokemon of the tag lock. Well, second Pokemon, but... Hey, BD, you can't go without... Oh. You're the weasel. Okay. This is a going away gift. Don't be shy. Take it. Potion. Nice. So, of course, the goal of this is to, one, not lose all the Pokemon and black out, because then you lose the tag lock. And number two is to not lose any Pokemon, because that's just sad. And you'd have to grind up more Pokemon. Hey, this way. This kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. Okay, here's how it works. The Pokédex page fills up automatically when you meet a Pokémon, and when you catch a Pokémon, more detailed information on it is added to the Pokédex. Here, I'll show you how to watch a Pokémon starting now. And she runs into... A Purloin. And go Lillipup. So this part isn't randomized. I don't know why it doesn't randomize it, but I think it's just because it's a thing coded into the game. But obviously we know how to catch Pokemon. So we just have to get through this. And then we can catch our first Pokemon on Route 19. Now I do know that Black 2 is a little bit of a tough game. But I feel like we'll be good enough to beat it and off screen we can always do some grinding when um we need more levels to beat something so and she caught a purloin what a relief i caught a pokemon oh um right i'll go over the important stuff first go find a healthy pokemon to catch you need to remember it's next Blah blah blah, it's a bee blah blue blah blee blee blee. I know how to catch Pokemon. Blue blee dee bee boop. Ah, bye 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 bye. Okay, and whew, here we go. First encounter is a. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Our first encounter is a beat of. 
Okay, so I know... Okay, so Sonic Boom... If I'm correct... Sonic Boom does 20... Yeah, 20 HP on every hit. So I know that P-Dove will not have 20 HP. So we're gonna have to throw a Pokeball at it immediately. Or it'll die. So, let's see if we can just catch it with first ball. This is definitely going in the PC. I will not be adding this to the team. That is a horrible first encounter. One. And it broke free. That's great. Honestly, if it takes more than five balls to catch it, I might just kill it and move on to the next route. Get some good experience, but we'll see. One, two, three. Are you serious? Come on. So again, with the tag lock, uh, Drew will not know what I did while I played. He will just have to come in kind of blind and see what's on the party and where we are in the game. And then once he tags me in, I'm going to have to come in blind and see how far he got and stuff. So... That'll be pretty interesting to see if he changes anything or if I change anything. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm honestly just not going to catch this. I, I'm not a big fan of P-Dove, and I don't want to waste too many balls because there could be a better encounter down the road. So, let's just get some experience here for Lisa, and let's move on to the next part of the game. So, honestly, I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center because I did take a couple hits there and I don't want to risk losing on the first route of the game. That would be pretty embarrassing. So, of course, let us know if you want to see more um, Pokemon stuff because I'd love to play more games in the future. I know that when Sword and Shield come out, me and Drew will be playing Sword and Shield on separate playthroughs, so that will be great. And um, we recently got an Elgato, so we will be doing a lot of Switch videos and stuff. So just let us know what you guys like to see and what you guys like pretty much. So let's go back to Route 19 and continue on with the game. Oh, this is just... I'm kind of curious on what what else is on this route that we missed out on catching a P-Dove. That's pretty annoying. Oh, and we're about to find out? Okay, I mean, that's not the best either. A Woobat? Run. I mean, then again, I could just knock them all out with Super Sonic, get some experience points. So we did also set the uh, items to random, so that's an ice gem, so obviously you don't get that on route one, so. Okay, so let's see what else we could have encountered. Oh, so I mean, this route obviously, <laughs> I guess, just doesn't have great Pokemon, so. Okay, here we go, Sonic Boom. Yep, one shot of course. Nothing this early on would have more than 20 HP. I don't think, at least. Maybe some, but not at level two. My name is Alder. I'm a trainer with kin interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is to walk towards the future together with Pokemon. Very beefy dude, Alder is. And you are? Hmm. <clears throat> So you're B, BD from Aspirata City. Quit checking me out, boy. Your Boizo is a fine looking Pokemon, but you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I'll train you a little. Follow me. Okay, Alder, I'll follow you. Oh, that's right, BD. Are your Pokemon well? Your Pokemon are always doing their best for you. The trainer. So you must always be kind to them. My house is just a little farther. Stop by the Pokemon Center first if you'd like. No, I just went back and healed. 
Where did Alder go? There he is. Hey, this way. Shall we start training? By the way, why are you holding two town maps? Oh no, it's your friend's town map, is it? Your friend is the one with the Snivy, isn't he? It just so happens he's still... He was training his Pokemon on Route 20. Well, if that's the case, you should go give him the town map first. Well, I guess we can go get another encounter on Route 20. Just follow this road. It goes to Route 20. Route 20, here we come. Hopefully Route 20 treats us better than Route 19 did. And our first real trainer battle in the wild. Let's battle. Okay, so remember the trainer's Pokemons are randomized. So he sends out a Wormpool. Okay. I know that won't have more than 20 HP at level 4. Sonic Boom. There we go, get one shotted. That's a great move at the start of the game. So that way we don't really have to worry about too much. What's down here? Nothing. Alright. So let's go up here. Another trainer battle. So obviously the beginning of the game is going to be a little bit slower. But as we get on, get more Pokemon, it'll be a little bit better. Wow, a Houndoom. So usually I'd be pretty worried about this, but we do have a Buizel, So no fire type moves should be that effective and houndoom doesn't even have over 20 hp nice that'll be good experience 120 162 experience learned water sport and almost gained two levels from the houndoom okay here we go our route 20 encounter after this item a jaboka berry i don't even know what that does let's see what our encounter is actually i know down there there's double battle grass that could be Interesting. Maybe we won't rush the encounter on this route. And he sends out a Carnivine. So hopefully we can one-shot this because it is a grass type. Sonic Boom. Level 8. Nice. Almost two levels again. Wow. So hopefully we don't run into a Pokemon here, and we didn't. So I know when that fills up. Okay, so over here is a different route, so let's go ahead and get our Route 20 encounter, and then I will finish up this video and then tag Drew in for the next one. And our encounter is a Ludicolo. Hopefully we can catch this thing because that would be amazing. Now, ah, oh, there's no way we can damage this. Because I do not think Water Sport does any damage. Yeah, the user soaks itself with water, the move weakens fire type moves. So, we're just going to have to prey on these Pokeballs being able to catch a Ludicolo. That would be such a cool Pokemon to add to the team. I can't even look at Ludicolo the same without thinking of the uh, Detective Pikachu movie. Oh no, it didn't even shake once. Oh, Seed Bomb. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know I could kill it, but... What? I Okay, we're gonna hope that it doesn't... It missed! Okay, it used Growl. Oh my gosh, we just about lost the Tag Lock right there. Oh my gosh, that was... I don't wanna... Okay, here we go. Please land. Okay. Wow, so we haven't gotten an encounter that we can get right now. I, oh my gosh, we just about lost the lock. Well, on that riveting note, I'm going to go ahead and tag Drew over. This was episode one. Hope you guys enjoyed BND Gaming. See ya.